tax to find the inverse or determinant of a non square matrix. This is a square matrix, not 3 by 2 or 2 by 2. So if they're asking you to find a matrix that is in the inverse of a matrix that is not square, then they're just trying to test your understanding. So, but for this one now, it's exactly the same way we did the 2 by 2 matrix. It's very easy. So, let me walk you through it. First thing to do is to write the formula about for the inverse. What is the inverse of this matrix? So, you can call the formula a map. So, let me put down my map here. So, the inverse, which is my map, will tell me exactly what I need to do. It's all we need to do find the cofactor and then transpose the cofactor. And that's easy. And then we just multiply. So, now let's find the terminant of A first. So, to find the determinant of A, so the determinant of A now, so that means I have to find 1, 2, and 3. So I'm using the shortcut method. First, the signs, right? So for this first row, this first row will have, so to find the determinant of 3 by 3, very easy. All you need to do is pick any row and then draw this pattern. Now, this is the first row I'm using, so this is, this is what I'm interested in. Right? Just plus minus plus here. So that means the first sign here will be plus, so I'm plus one, so plus one. Now, what is the, what is the minor? To find the minor to this one, all I need to do is delete the row and the column. So what are we left with? Three, five, five, twelve. Easy. Now let me do the second one. So now moving on to the next step, two, right? But what is the sign? That's the reason I need the sign here. So minus two. So minus times plus two. That's minus two. But what is the minor? So very easy. The minor is just let's delete the row and column associated. I'm not going to waste too much time here because we I made a video on this already. So that's one, five, one, and twelve. That's what's what's left. One, five, one, and twelve. Okay. Now, what about the last one? That would be three, right? 3 plus 3 and what is the sign plus again so still stays the same thing plus 3 now what is the mine 1 3 1 5 very easy so now we have everything in place now all we need to do now is to break this thing down again just like how we find the determinant of a 2 by 2 so imagine this way 2 by 2 so 12 times 3 that's 36 minus 5 times 5, which is 25. So subtract that 11 and the cofactor multiply this by this, which is plus 1. So the answer here will be 11. So now we have plus 11 here. What about this? The same thing. So we have plus 6. And then to get the determinant, all you need to do is just add and subtract everything like this to get the scalar quantity. That, that would be equal to. 11 minus 14 plus 6 is we finally gotten this part so now we finally gotten our determinant all we need to do now is get the adjoint of the matrix so to get the adjoint all we need to do is find the cofactor i did a video on that already but let's do that ourselves anyway for every single thing using this here so we don't need to i'm using the shortcut method now we don't need to put in the position every single time so all you need to do is find cofactor for one two and three and to do that, we need the sign first. So what's the sign for one? That's plus, right? Plus one. What is the minor? Delete the row and the column like this. And what's left? Three, five, three, five, five, twelve. That's what's left. Just put it here. Minus one. We are not doing um, determinant, so we don't need that. Too. So now, what is the minor? Delete the row and the column associated with that two. So what I left is 1, 5, 1, 12. 1, 5, 1, 12. Now, the same procedure for this three now. What is the sign? Plus 1, right? That's what we need and the minor. So getting the minor, all you need to do is delete the row and the column associated with it. That would be 1, 3, 1, and 5. 1, 3, 1, and 5. So now the next one, all you need to do is get the minor and which this one now will be minus 1, like this. And all you need to do is to get the minor. So delete the row and the column, the same thing. For 3, the same procedure for everything. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and fill the rest myself. You can see the sign is repeating plus, minus, plus, and then all you need to do is just find their minor. Like this one now is minus one. Here, the same thing. And then to get the minor, all you need to do for this five, delete the row and the column, and what's left like this. And then what's left? One, three, one, five, one, three, one, five. The same procedure for every single thing. So now all we need to do is solve this like you would normally solve a two by two. So this one now 12 times 3, the same procedure for everything. 12 times 3 is 36 minus 12 times 3 and then minus 5 times 5, which is 25. And if you multiply it, this becomes 11. Right? So if you multiply, if you subtract, you get 11. And of course, 11 multiplied by 1 is still 11. So here stays 11. So this um, first side now is plus 11. So let, let's just do any random part. So um, let's try this part now, this minus 1. So of course, to convert this now to the final um, cofactor, all you need to do the same procedure for every single thing. Every single thing just repeating themselves and repeating the same procedure. So all you need to do is just multiply them. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5 minus subtracted from 1 times 2, which is 2. So everything here will be 5 minus 2. And 5 minus 2 is just 3, right? And then 3 here, everything here becomes 3, like this. So 3 minus 3 multiplied by minus 1, that's the cofactor which is minus 3. So this place here is minus 3. And if you do the same thing for everything, you get the cofactor. So as you can see how easy this is. So these are the cofactors. So do not multiply them with these numbers here. That will be the determinant. The moment you multiply this rule by this, multiply, you multiply this first rule, you can try it. Multiply this first rule by this and add them and subtract them together. You will get determinants. Do the same thing. Multiply this by this this second row by this and add and subtract them together you get determinant so do not this is the cofactor the cofactor is just the sign so you can memorize this here and now to get the adjoint all we need to do is transpose this matrix very easy right so let's do our own transpose here all i need to do is just transpose this matrix so turn the row into column turn the row into column and turn the row into column so this first so this first row turn it into column like this. Then I'll turn this second row into column. That'll be minus nine, nine, and minus three. Right? Turn this one into column. And lastly, turn the last row into the last column. So that'll be plus one, minus two, and one. Very simple, right? So all you need to do one over three multiplied by the transpose cofactor which is 2 minus 3 and 1 so you can leave your answer like this or so it's not compulsory to put them all like this and also you don't have to put them in different colors of course <laughs> so yeah you can leave it like this or like this and that is the inverse that we're looking for and once you have this like this using the cofactor method you can see the reason it's called the cofactor method is because we found the inverse and the adjoint and every single thing with the cofactor method. So you can also use the gas elimination method, or if the question instructs you specifically to use the cofactor method, or if they're not asking you to use any method at all, then you are free at your own will to pick any method you want. So, guys, that's it for this video. Keep practicing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.